What's up? What's up? Unsubscribe gang. In today's video, we're going to look at another chess game played between me and a fellow friend called Juice. Juice Goose. I mean, Goose Juice. Uh, he's a British guy. That's all I know. I, I don't know anything. But anyway, um, yeah, let's check out the games. Also, this channel is not going to be turning into a chess channel. It is a variety channel. I do all kinds of things. Next video will be about, I don't know. Yeah. It will be another trade offer video. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Anyway, let's go to game number one. Okay, the first move we got is F4. I'm not really sure what that move does other than putting a pawn to the middle, I guess. Kind of in the middle. It's not really, though. This is kind of a king's gambit opening. It's not really a good one because the king can be targeted. You know, there's this line where you just do, I mean, you just do this with the queen, then there's this, and then there's this. If, if you take the queen, they'll, they'll, they'll be checkmate. So that's a cool gambit, but I didn't do it in this game. Instead, I played e6. Which is, I don't know what that move does, other than putting a pawn in the center. And he played this move, further weakening the king's side. The king is kind of being a target right now, so that's not really a good move. I don't know what move is good in this position. Probably putting a pawn in the center would be great. Yeah, yeah, it's a good move. Uh, anyway. So I play another pawn move. He pl he played as king. I don't know what Goose was thinking. I don't know. He, he played the bone cloud, but to the side, you know, that's uh, another vari variation that is made by him. Instead of playing the normal bone cloud, where you just put the king in the middle, he played the side bone cloud. Amazing move by Goose. Now I played check. Using my bishop, it's not really a good move because I don't, I don't know what he does. Like, the king can just go back, and then the engine is arguing that, you know, black is good here because development is good, very good. So I played another pawn move. I don't know why I played this move. I just, I guess I want to fiancazo. Yeah, that happened. He moved his queen. Okay, now the engine is saying that I could just move my king. Wow. Wow, very Chad. I don't even need a castle. That's amazing. I think this is the good move, I think. Okay, I, I wanted to trade queens. Fine. And then he blundered his rook. Which is a not, uh, which is a not, which is a not, which is not a good move. I can't even speak, man. Uh, anyway, he took the pawn, he took, and then he checked me, and I bring back the bishop. He took, I took, and then there's, there's this. That's, that's almost checkmate here. Okay, that's maiden one. Where is it? Oh, there. there it is. Oh my god. Yeah, I played this in the game. Okay, that was game one. I crushed him. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, let's check out game number two. There's really nothing going on in this game. Wow. Alright, game number two. We have me with the white pieces and Goose with the black pieces. I played e4. And then he played the Scandinavian. Now the Scandinavian, I argue that it's not really a good opening because white can just take, and uh, if the queen takes, you can have like a cool thing, you know. There's this. There's putting the pawn in the center. I actually forgot the move order. Even though I watched Gotham Chess, I just don't remember all the moves. I remember the, uh, the uh, I remember the, the
I remember the opening moves. I mean, I don't remember the opening moves, but I remember the opening names. I can't speak this. It's literally 3 a.m., so I can't really speak. Anyway, so that so he played his queen. Um, I punished his queen, and then he checked me for no reason. And then he used the pin to his advantage, and that's quite great. And then I pushed the pawn for no reason. Actually, I can take that, right? I can just take the bishop. Oh my god. Why didn't I? Well, whatever. Okay, now he, the pin is gone. I played another pawn move. That's a bad move. That move just equalized the entire game. Wow, amazing. Because this bishop is so bad, it can't really move anywhere because the queen, I mean, the queen is pinning it. So this bishop can't move. It's probably one of the worst bishops you, you've ever seen in your, in your life. It's locked in a jail cell. Anyway, that just hangs the knight, so I just took, and then I don't know what this move does, I don't know, and I attacked his queen, and then I pushed the pawn, and then he blundered, he straight up blundered his queen. It only took him 10 moves, it only took Goose 10 moves to blunder a queen. Dude, I blundered queens in like, I don't know, five moves. So that's a, a record. Congratulations, Goose Juice. But I'll take your queen for free, thank you. Um, And then he moves his knight, because I was actually threatening, what do I try? I don't know. I was threatening to take this pawn, I guess. No? That was an idea. Well, I actually want to target this pawn, but it's it can be easily defended by just pushing the pawn up. So, yeah. Then I castled, and he moved his bishop again. That bishop, that, that bishop moved at the same place again for like I don't know how many moves. I don't know, man. But that bishop is something else. Anyway, he took, and then I took, um, I took the knight, because why not, and I moved the queen here, also this, this pawn is pinned, so it can't move up, and this rook is being a target, if I move here, then I'll take the rook, so he must defend this rook by moving it, but if he moves it, then I take the pawn, so yeah. If he moves it, I'll take the pawn, and it will be the target again, so he has, he has to move the rook again. But he didn't see it, instead, he played a pawn move, and then I, I, I took his rook. And then there's mate. Maiden 1? It's maiden 1? Rook f7, oh yeah. Oh my god, I... I delayed the mate, oh my god, okay. Is that still mate though? Okay, I saw the move, okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, I made it then. Okay, this chess game was quite interesting, but it'll be more interesting from further out, you know. I don't really like this second game, it's not really that fun. But anyway, let's check out the third game. So now we have the third round and uh, Goose has the white pieces and I have the black pieces. So Goose starts with e4, he learned his lesson. I I tried to play the King's Indian, because why not? It's quite a solid opening. I don't know why I played this move. This move is not really that great, because it doesn't really do anything. And then he just, what? He blundered a pawn, and then I took it. And he moved his queen, and then I moved my knight again. Okay. This is actually quite dangerous. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, actually, actually, actually. He had this move. 
and I would be forced to take and then he won he wins a queen so I straight up blundered my queen against a beginner player I think I still have to learn more about chess but anyway I'm still not a good chess player if I keep blundering, blundering my queens like this oh my god but anyway he didn't see that in the game instead he played bishop to d3 it's not really a great move because you know it's a good move because he wants the castle I can see that but yeah that pawn is still hanging on c7 I didn't address it I still hung it but yeah the king can just move for some reason he didn't take the rook but I let him do I, but I, I but I use a tempo move so he is forced to move his queen and then he blundered his knight because he moved his queen oh actually is this a good move I saw this in the game but I don't know like, I don't want to get my queen trapped so I didn't do it okay I move a knight there's a trade and there's a check and then I took another free pawn what, the, what is this move okay he just gave me a free bishop I don't know why I took of the king but anyway check I move the king again and I take and I take and then that and then there's made in two. I think it's this move, right? Yeah, it's this move. And then, uh, yeah. No, 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 I, no, no. That's not the move. Because if I played this, if I played this, he can just take. I would be, I would be still winning, but it's not really good, you know. Why would you miss made in two? Okay, now we have this, and then we have queen e2. Queen e2. We have this. Okay, that's just made. Okay, I see. Because the queen can't go. The queen can't go anyway because it, it is pinned to the king, so it can't move. Yeah, this is made. But I missed it in the game. Instead, I played. What the heck did I play? I played I played check for some reason. Now there's still mate. There there is mate, but it's eight in eight moves. I didn't see it. Now there's mate in three. Oh my god. How? Let's see. I Queen to have two and then we have and we have uh this. No, no, yeah, this. Then we have this. Then we have. After, oh, it says smothered mate. Okay, I see. There's so many mates, but I keep missing it. This is not really a good an analysis video, guys. I I'm so sorry, okay? I keep blundering my queens. Oh my god. Okay, and blundering mate. Oh, also, there's a free rook over there. But I was looking at mate instead of taking it. So I just mated him. It's a good game, I guess. Wow, white almost lost all of that pieces. Wow. Can't believe I did that. But anyway, such a bad game. I almost lost my queen at how many moves? At seven moves, wow. I almost lost my queen at move seven. Amazing, amazing gameplay. Right now, guys, we have the final game that I played against Goose Juice. He has the black pieces and I have the white pieces. What did I play? I played d4, initiating Queen's Gambit. I like that opening. It's very solid. Yeah, I played it. I don't know why he moved his queen, but okay. Also, guys, if you see this right now, that is just a hanging queen. 
I could have just taken it, but in the game I didn't. Because I got tunnel vision. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe this. So what did I play? I played a knight move. You know, to attack a queen, but the queen can just move. Wow, okay. Uh, and then I put another pawn, because I'm uh, in the sand zone, because I'm greedy as hack. Okay, now he moves his queen again. And then I blond. I actually blundered this. I bl I blundered this. I always blundered this in the Queen's Gambit, man. Because this bishop always needs to guard, to guard this place. But yeah. I almost blundered that. I almost, because he didn't, you know, take it. So that's fine. And I took, I, and then I attack his knight. For some reason he moved his queen. Uh, actually, if he didn't move his queen, I could have just taken it. You know, if he moved his knight, I just, I, I would just, I would have just taken it. Uh, anyway, got a queen move. I took his knight for free. I checked him, and then I moved my queen, and then I tried to make a mating net. If that move, it covers all of the diagonal on this part, and this, and after this is mate. Amazing, amazing game. Sorry if I sound very dead in this video. It's literally three a.m. as I'm recording this video. So yeah, get out, just like Gotham Chess says. Set. And his outro.